Hello everyone and welcome to Full Send Inc. My name is that camping guy, co-owner of Full Send, along with Josh Tibbs. I'm making this quick how-to video for our Full Send guys to show them how to install, download, and use Speditor. It applies to anybody happening to see this, except for you'll have to find your own links because all of ours are in the Discord. We'll get right into it. You got to open up our Discord, go to the ATS room, go to the pin section in the top, download speditor click that bottom link on there it's the latest edition it'll automatically start downloading if it doesn't you can click the click here button close that out it will be in your download folder you can see it here you're going to right click and go to extract files if it doesn't have that option you need to download an unzipping program i recommend winrar there's a copy of that in our discord in the ats room as well you can click the night night link here That'll put another folder on your computer. You open that up. That'll give you a clean copy of WinRAR without any spamware or advertisements or BS. Once you do that, when you right click, it should say extract files. We're going to click that. We're going to put it on our desktop. You're going to create a new folder and call it whatever you want. You could just leave it named this. We're going to click OK. Close that out and then you will see it here on your desktop. All we're gonna need out of this is the virtual speditor on the bottom. We're gonna make a shortcut for this. Right click on the icon at the bottom, virtual speditor, go to send to desktop, create shortcut. Then this is all we're gonna use to run speditor. Now that we have virtual speditor on our desktop, we need to open up truckers MP on American truck sim to set two quick key bindings, a quick save and a quick load, as well as create our first multiplayer quick save. As it turns out, I missed a very important step in my previous tutorial video. A member of our community pointed out that I had forgotten to mention that you have to disable your cloud save in order for the quick save file to appear in your save list. I did write a short message on how to disable the cloud save in both the comment section and the description. However, I feel confident no one actually read it. Thus, a second update video has been created. To disable the cloud save, all you need to do is open American Truck Simulator, click edit, on the right side. And for many of you, next to the word U Steam Cloud is a silver check mark. Make sure you uncheck it and click OK and apply. From this point on, you can follow the rest of the video. Everything will make sense. Your quick save will be in the save drop down. Have fun with the rest of the video. Here we are in the main menu screen. Click options, keys and buttons. Take the slider on the right, drag it all the way to the bottom. At the top, you have a quick save and a quick load option. You need to set this as number one and number two on your keypad on the right side of your keyboard. You just click the location to hit number one, click the location, hit number two. Now we have to create our first quick save. We just need to move a little bit in the world across a parking lot or across the road, doesn't matter. In this case, we're just going to drive forward. Just a little bit, we're in a garage at the moment. And that's enough. Now to activate the quick save, all we do is press one. You'll notice in the top left corner, saving icon will spin. And now we are ready to get set up for Speditor. Here we are on the main screen. All we need to do now is open up virtual Speditor. We have to link our quick save location to Speditor. Open up the dots here and you go to your documents under PC documents. Mine is American Truck Sim. It should be the first profile without the numbers. The first giant numbers that you come to, save, and then quick save. You click that, and then at the bottom, you click OK. Now it should say this across the top, or some variant, something very close. Now all we gotta do is click load. This is pulling in all the information for American Truck Sim. Here's your main page for Virtual Speditor. You don't have to shut your game down to use this screen. You can see it running in the background back here. Untick suggest random company, because if you don't, it'll change these sources over and over again. Unclick exclude companies, because for some reason it hides some. Change map selector to 138. Leave trailer selector alone. Country and company, leave those alone. This is the city that you want to pick up from. I'm currently in Roswell, New Mexico. Pick the company that you want to load in. This is Bitumen. The destination is where you want to take it to. We want to take this to Tacoma. The company is Gallon Oil. Here is where we pick our loads. Cargo is the loads that you're planning on hauling in American Truck Sim. 
we'll just pick one on random. Here's large tubes. This has three different trailer links. You can choose one of the three. Leave urgency at zero. All we have to do is click add cargo. To get it sent into the world, we're gonna click save. It'll say saving file up here, saved file. All we have to do now is open up the game. Hit number two. We're gonna load our quick save. Once you get loaded in, we're gonna check to see if our load is present. Here's our load. You can see it here, Roswell to Tacoma on the right. Trip all the way up to the top, it's ready to rock. I hope this is everything that you needed it to be. It's pretty straightforward. We'll be available to answer any questions that you have them. This is very centric to the full send guys. It does apply to any company, only you have to find your own links to the downloads. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to the channel, and we will see you all on the next one. Bye.